It's time for Market Street's Game of the Week. Our Game of the Week reporter, Jonathan Pelosic, is covering Wink versus undefeated Wellington and Sweetwater. How was the drive out there, John? Now, it was a pretty uneventful drive, just a straight shot down I-20. A little long, if you ask me, but let's go ahead and get to what we're all here for. That's some high school football playoff action, and boy, did this matchup tonight live up to the hype. Two 10-win teams in Wink and Wellington, and it was nasty. It was physical, and it was everything that you expect the playoffs to, to be. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look at those first half highlights. Round two of the high school football playoffs in Texas. We've got 10-win Wink taking on undefeated 10-0 Wellington out here in Sweetwater, Texas. Wink starts off with the ball. Quarterback Cannon Gibson hits his man Gray Munez running the corner route, putting Wink up 7-0 early on in this one. Meanwhile, on Wellington's first drive, they marched right up and down the field against this Wink defense, punctuated with this run right up the gut. Mark Ramirez with the score, but Wink would still lead 7-6. Later on in the half, Cannon Gibson with his best Houdini impersonation, throwing off his back foot, finds his man Jordan Talley, giving Wink a 14-6 lead. After a penalty at the very end of the half, Wellington with an untimed down, and they would capitalize. Creighton Killian launches one. It's a jump ball, but Wellington would come down with it. Mark Ramirez again with a touchdown catch, and it would send this game to half, tied at 14. Let's hear from Coach Gibson after the game. Here with me now is Wink head coach Brian Gibson. And coach, this is obviously not the outcome that you were looking for, but you played a real good team and your boys absolutely fought tooth and nail. Just how proud are you of them tonight? I just love them so much. Um, those dudes give us so much. We were shorthanded all year long. Um, you know, our depth was thin all year and dudes fought through so many pains and injuries. Uh, they gave us everything they had every day, day in and day out. And I, I'm i blessed to coach these men because they're destined for greatness. And uh, they learn to fight like that, like they did right there, and fight all year like that in life. They're going to be in good shape. And I know that when they leave Wink High School, they're going to have the tools it takes to be successful. Unfortunately for Wink, it's the end of the line, but they've got a lot to be excited about in the future. Now, the Wellington touchdown at the very end of the first half is pretty much what swung, what swung all the momentum over to the Skyrocket side and allowed them to take control in the second half. Your final tonight from Sweetwater, Texas, Wellington 34, Wink 28.